when I came out, my entire family disowned me and I haven't spoken to any of them ever since. And having been able to have a, a trans pride event when I was young would have been life changing. It would have meant that I didn't go until I was 30 before I transitioned. So the first moment of trans pride was in a pub in Brighton and half a dozen of us got together and we decided that we wanted to have a, a, a pride that centered trans people. So the first trans pride, um, it was the first in Europe and we were expecting a couple of hundred people and I think 800 turned out during the day, which we were, this was a massive success. We loved it. <laughs> and now we plan for 20,000 people and they're all trans, non-binary and allies. And yeah, we have, a, we've grown enormously and it's, we've done it voluntarily. We've done it, you know, it was, it was a model that, that centers trans people and, and protects from rainbow capitalism. It's a really authentic way of doing it. We have a protest march every, every year and it's explicitly a protest march because trans and non-binary people are really being attacked in the media right now. We go all the way along the seafront, really visible. We stop traffic in the entire city. And then we go to Brunswick Park. And in the park, we have about 50 uh, community stalls and tiny little trans organizations. Uh, we have a stage and, and we have trans and non-binary acts. It's really centering the community and it's, it's putting us, our peers first, you know? We put, we like to say we put the T first in LGBT. <laughs> I'm really excited that now there's 15 trans prides all around the UK. I'm part of a, an organization where we give each other like organizational support and, and emotional support. And we swap a lot of details and it's, it's, it's burst onto the scene in the last 12 months, all of these different prides around the UK. It's, it's amazing, magical. It really is. Every year at Trans Pride Brighton, someone comes up to me and usually in tears tells me that this is the best day of their life. And, you know, these are people who are, you know, in their mid fifties and they've had an amazing colorful life. And they come up to me and they say that this atmosphere is so accepting that it's the best day of my life. It's an enormous privilege to, to be part of an, of an event that, that creates that moment for people. Uh, it, it's, yeah, it's life-changing. It's changed my entire outlook on my life. <laughs>